Welcome to the AACS Daily News for February 29th, 2016. The Attleboro Arts Museum is hosting a new exhibit featuring the works of a well-known community figure. Museum director Mim Fawcett gave us the details. We are at the opening reception for a new exhibition that is entitled The Art of Philip Leach. This show is a retrospective that commemorates Leach's 100th birthday. Phil Leach would have been 100 um, this year, and the museum, working with the Leach family, in particular Ted Leach, have launched an exhibition of Phil's work. Now, most people, maybe some people know that he was an artist, but I, I am sure that folks did not know that we could fill a, a good part of the gallery with over 50 pieces uh, that represent different mediums and uh, also span over 70 years. So Phil, as a young child, we have a piece and it's believed that uh, he created it at eight years old. Uh, we have a piece in the gallery from when he was a child, but then all the way up on, through his 80s. And we're delighted with the special quality of the show. Part of the reason why is Phil was an industry leader, a community leader, Attleboro glitterati even. And, uh, but so few know this side of him and it's important for us to be able to show that there's a, uh, there was a celebration of the arts within him. So that's really what this show is. Uh, all of the work is on loan from family members and very close friends. Again, we have over 50 pieces. The show is up until March 2nd. The museum is open Tuesday through Saturday from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. We have free admission. Folks can come as often as they like to see the show. Uh, and we really do enjoy listening to folks and their commentary. They, uh, they have a nice special connection. I think the biggest message that people get out of this show is um, how personal the work is. Phil never created the art to sell it. Uh, the work was created to give to family members or just um, to enjoy the creative process. And you can really sense that within each piece. My name is Ted Leach. I am so excited to see so many old friends, family from all over the country, and so many old wonderful employees of Leach and Garner Company who still feel fondly for my dad, Phil Leach. I'm one of his five children. We're just thrilled that the Alaboro Art Museum would uh, do a 100-year centennial exhibit of Philip F. Leach's works, which include not just paintings, and he was a great watercolor painter, but there are some oils here, there are gouaches. He did uh, designing cars back in the early 1930s when he was only 16. There are a couple of uh, wonderful tryouts that he did to show my grandparents what a certain car would look like if that's the car they ordered at the bottom of the Depression to try to help the economy along. But he also did woodwork, there's jewelry that he did. He got a patent on making plaid gold, which he did with different colored stripes of gold, and um, there are several of his plaid gold pieces here. There are lots and lots of wonderful, wonderful pieces, and I think everyone here tonight is kind of astounded at the breadth of creativity that he had, the styles that he did that were so different, but also the, the incredible quality that he got from being a uh, student at the Rhode Island School of Design from the time he was five years old. I hope you'll, if you hear this, and the exhibit is still on, which it, unfortunately it closes on March the 2nd, I hope you'll get a chance to come and see the works of Phil Leach, my dad, and one of the best friends uh, a kid could ever have. Thank you. That's it for today's update. For AACS News, I'm Austin Ricketts.